Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Beta Channel Insiders, build 22635.4870, which was made available with the update KB5050087. Now, this is not to be confused with the build that rolled out for both Dev and Beta Channel Insiders at the end of last week where the update KB5050090, which rolled out to the dev channel, was also available to the beta channel insiders as an optional update. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, this is quite an important release to the beta channel because I think it introduces a feature that's going to make a lot of Windows 11 users quite happy, where you can choose now what lock screen widgets appear on your lock screen. Now, currently in the stable version, if we just head into our settings quickly and we head over to personalization, lock screen. If you are wanting to choose lock screen widgets, at the moment it's called weather and more or none. So if you choose weather, you get the full package. So you get all the widgets, as you may well know, or if you don't want to see that, you can click none as I have posted previously. So I think this is a nice step in the right direction where Microsoft says it's beginning to roll out support for lock screen widgets previously referred to as weather and more as I've just shown you in that example to Windows insiders in the European Economic Area EEA where they say you can add, remove and rearrange lock screen widgets such as weather, watch list, traffic, sports and so on. Any widget that supports the small size in option can be added here as well, where you can add your widget. And to customize your lock screen widgets, you navigate, as, as shown in the image, you navigate to your system personalization lock screen page. And Microsoft says that it's starting this rollout first with insiders in the EEA and plan to expand it to insiders in other regions in the future. And they say insiders outside the EA will continue to see weather and more, as I showed you in that example at the beginning of the video. And I actually think this is a nice move in the right direction. So because now it's not all or nothing, you can actually choose just weather or personalize this to your own personal choice and preference. And I think that's due to negative feedback because um, this was met with quite a lot of negative feedback when it first rolled out because it was considered to be bloatware on your lock screen. And by the way, I'll leave a video link down below and in the end screen how you can actually remove those widgets from your lock screen in case you are unaware. And Microsoft says, as part of this, it's also adding support for a new group policy called Disable Widgets on the lock screen that will allow IT administrators to disable lock screen widgets without disabling widgets elsewhere on PCs they manage. And I think that's also a nice move. Because when you're in a organization and enterprise and you are managing a lot of PCs like I have in the past, the less clutter you have, the better. And I think that's also a nice move in the right direction. Now, just on a side note, just to mention another little file explorer improvement that's rolled out because it is uh, listed as a new improvement. And Microsoft says that for Windows Insider signed in with a work or school account, file explorer will now begin showing people icons under the activity column on File Explorer Home and on Recommended at the top of File Explorer Home. And they mentioned that when you hover or click over a people icon, it will display the live persona card for that person from Microsoft 365. So that's just on a quick side note. That's also been tested this week uh, in the beta channel. And then other and over and above that, um, we get some fixes for the Start Menu File Explorer. And also we get a couple of um, known issues that have been addressed because obviously, although beta is closer to stable, it is still a preview build and known issues are expected in preview builds. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.